El Dorado. Do you like to explore? Do you like to find new places? For centuries, the Europeans had heard about a beautiful city full of gold in South America called El Dorado. The Europeans wanted to find this city of gold. Finding this city would make them rich. They imagined a golden city with golden streets. In fact, the Europeans had already found people in South America with gold, so they believed there was a place of great wealth hidden somewhere. New Land The explorers traveled by ships to the new land. When they arrived, there were no roads. Instead, there were big mountains and thick forests. They had no maps, and their food and water had to be carried on horses. Many explorers came to find the gold, including Hernando de Soto and Francisco Pizarro. They traveled thousands of miles to find the lost city. The new land looked strange. The trees, plants, and flowers were very different. They saw strange animals such as llamas, snakes, birds, and monkeys. The people were different too. They had a different culture with different languages and customs. They also had different music and ceremonies. Looking for gold. The Spanish found only small amounts of gold. They kept on looking for El Dorado. They believed it was somewhere there. The Spanish explorer Gonzalo Jimenez de Caseda, as well as others, fought the local people. Many people died because of this gold. The real El Dorado. The Spanish later heard that El Dorado was a person. He was head of the Muisca people who lived high in the mountains in eastern Colombia. A new king. When the Muisca people chose a new king, a special ceremony took place. The religious leaders covered the body of the king with little pieces of gold. He was called the Golden One. He was taken on a small boat to the middle of Lake Guatavita. The king jumped into the water and washed off the gold. Gold and jewels were also thrown into the lake as an offering to the god of the lake. The Muisca people watched, played music, danced, and sang. The importance of gold. Gold was important to the Muisca people because it was used as an offering to their gods. It was beautiful, like the sun. The Muisca also gave gold to others for salt, feathers, shells, and other things they wanted. They didn't have much gold, but used it for many things. How to get the gold? The Spanish knew that there was gold in Lake Guatavita, but they had to find a way to get it out. The Spanish emptied some of the lake in the year 1545. They found hundreds of pieces of gold around the edge where they had emptied the lake. However, they did not find the large amount of gold they wanted. Sir Walter Raleigh. In 1595, Sir Walter Raleigh decided to look for El Dorado using some old maps. He thought the city was called Manoa. He never found the city, but learned a lot about the people and country. Others came and went. No one ever found a lost city. No one found mountains of gold. Is the lost city still there, waiting to be found? What does El Dorado mean today? Today, El Dorado can mean a place of great riches, or it can be the name of a town where gold has been found. 
Sometimes it just means success or a flower or even a movie theater. For hundreds of years, people looked for the city of gold, but it was never found. It was only a legend. El Dorado lives, it seems, in our hearts and dreams. Is there something you would look for over many years? How far would you go to look for your dream?